Honest feedback is kind. Grow up, grow up, grow up leadership. What is up, y'all? In my years and years of management experience, I had to deliver a lot of feedback. I'm hoping I'm able to articulate this correctly. I hope this makes sense to y'all, but I desperately need to put this out there. If you are a manager, supervisor, leader, and have thoughts, examples, data about an employee that will in any way inhibit their career development and advancement, and you have not shared this with them, you need to gain your confidence pull up your socks, find the nerve, and tell that person whatever the feedback you have been sitting on, you need to tell them. I can't tell you how many times I've heard about an employee that is a solid performer, but for whatever reason, been deemed as not worthy of a promotion due to some issue or concern. The issue is not getting in the way of their success at their current work, but prevents them from being considered for anything else. The manager knows it, the director knows it, the other managers know it, and this employee keeps applying for other roles or raising their hand for other responsibilities. And no one will simply tell that person what everyone else knows. If you are a manager sitting on performance concerns, you need to be honest and tell them. Please, do the right thing and tell them. If you were walking around with a booger hanging out your nose or a huge chocolate stain on your butt, you'd want someone to tell you. I know I would. Even if it's embarrassing, I'm still given the opportunity to do something about it. And at least I know why people are looking at me crazy and laughing. I've had employees who have been transferred over to me, who had various managers over their tenure. All of the managers kept passing along the same concerns when the employee gets a new manager. But it seems that no one has ever told them. The Concern or issue is written in their performance record, shared in reference communications when the person applies for a promotion. I'll ask, has this ever been shared? And the answer is typically sidestepped and well, we try to discuss it, but I don't think they understood. So you can clearly tell me, write it in their performance log and in an email to another department, but you can't clearly explain to the employee? Now, I couldn't find the exact quote or source, but I've heard this many times in many different ways. Honesty is kindness. Being honest is being kind. It may be difficult to have the conversation. You can start with just how I started this video. I I'm not sure exactly how to say this. I hope this comes out correctly. And then go into, I've observed several times this issue or concern. Awkward communication, lack of follow-up. You seem to get flustered and anxious in meetings. You seem to take a fair amount of mental health days. You are sometimes reactionary with feedback, what, whatever the issue is. It's not impacting your current work. You are performing successfully. However, it does have an impact on being selected for other roles. Again, this may hurt their pride they may not agree, they may have excuses and reasons, that's fine. At least now they know and can decide what to do next. Knowing is half the battle. The first step is acknowledgement. They now have opportunity to improve and fix or can choose to do nothing. At least now they are aware of the issue that may impact advancement. If you tell me I have a stain on my ass of my pants, at least I have a chance to change or cover it up with a jacket or even just make a joke about it. Now don't everybody look at my butt but I sat on some chocolate and I have embarrassing stain on my pants. I promise it's chocolate. I'm not recommending to be honest to everyone about every issue or piece of feedback or suggestion you have. But if there is something about your employee that is in some way an issue that everyone else seems to know about, find the sand, the grit, and be honest. Again, they may choose to do nothing with the feedback. You can offer to coach them through discovering possible solutions, but don't press it. Allow them time to process the feedback and follow up to determine if they have further questions, need examples, or want to create a plan to improve. Point is, this type of feedback may be uncomfortable for both sides, but there is nothing worse than everyone in leadership having shared knowledge about an employee concern and that employee having never received that feedback. This can be funny in movies and TV, but it's not funny in real life. Be a good manager and be honest with your staff about your concerns. Peace.